Hi guys, I'm Kushbu and welcome back to my channel. And yeah, I'm back after so long. Uh, this is like my first video postpartum. So yeah, after three and a half months because my daughter just turned three and a half yesterday. And so sorry for posting videos so late that most of you guys got like so confused about my due date and all that. They were like literally people calculating my due date and all of those. I was like almost five, six months late in posting and because of which uh, I told that I am due on May. But then I posted that videos on May, June, July, around August. So people were like really confused and they calculated it and they were like, what kind of calculation is this? Like, how can you be due on May and you're already this pregnant and all that? So yeah, sorry for that. This is my first video postpartum. So I'm back after like three and a half months. I'm planning to be regular. So let's hope so. Uh, I'm here to be doing, I'm here to be um, talking about what was in my hospital bag. Um, I was planning to do this before, uh, before I got into my delivery, but um, got so bad bad. like um, my water just broke and then I had to be rushed to the hospital. I hope you watched my birth vlog video. Um, if not, go, go watch it. What are you waiting for? Like first I was like very, um, hesitant on whether I should be posting that video or not because like I didn't know um if how how people would take it because this this i think this is the first time a nepali has posted her birth vlog and all that and i didn't know how nepali would take that like in sydney i didn't know but then i was like so glad so happy that everyone took it so positively and then i've got like so many good messages all positive good messages from people so yeah without further ado let's not talk too much and let's do a video on what was in my hospital bag so yeah, as I said before, this was to be done before my delivery, but um, I couldn't. And then like a few weeks back, I asked on my Instagram, what do you guys wanted me to uh, vlog about? And then so many guys asked about what vlog which is there. And then there were a lot of people who asked about what was in my hospital bag. And I said like, it's already done. Do you still want to know about what was in my hospital bag? And then... I asked a poll and then there was like a 90 more than 90 percent of people who said that they wanted a hospital bag video and also um like i think two or three girls among my um insta fam are pregnant and they're like waiting for my video so this is for you guys okay so yeah what was in my hospital bag i've used like almost all of it so i'm not going to be showing you what was in my hospital bag but then yeah i took a suitcase this one i took a suitcase this big okay just to show you like how big it should be it's like a hand carry um, normal hand carry bag okay and what i did was um, on one side i kept all my baby's item and in the other side i kept all my my item necessary items so let's be talking about what i kept in my baby's um, place so the first thing first baby um needs outfits so you need to carry like at least three outfits for the baby um and uh, in nepal much especially it has to be like full length okay full length in person they will not allow you to wear half like you know, body suits or thing they know so sleeping suit or whatever but then it has to be full length fully covering their arms and legs and then you need to carry mittens socks caps and all those things because they really 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 want your child to be warm warm enough okay so yeah any yeah that's that outfit for you um and as you guys know i had my gucci outfit for my little baby as a first outfit even the doctors and nurses there were like please don't use this because first outfit the dirty hunsa like concerning like that or relax so you can use this as your going home outfit you know but then i like like let's put something simple and i was like no i was like very adamant on it i was like like they dirt they like concerning dirt when you go kino on it's like blood or thorny so they came out of that they didn't just come out like like you know like angel so i wanted those to be a part of that outfit you know it would be more meaningful and beautiful right so yeah i was like no 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 my yellow my this has to be her first outfit this has to be her first outfit so yeah that's that i carried that and then i carried um a set of all um Outfit like this, there will be sleeping suits, socks, mittens, caps, everything set. So yeah, I carry two of those. So three outfits all together. Um, and then carry blankets. 
doctors they ask for blankets so make sure you carry like at least three blankets um i carried like around i think five six because i had like three swaddles no i think two swaddles okay summer swaddles which they will swaddle um first and then they'll ask for like medium medium sized blanket as well like alikati but not not as thin as swaddles and not as thick as thick blankets but then yeah bits of a patella type company so not so so that they swaddle it on top of that and then a thick one just just in case you know like that boy ali when you or doctor live or the nano bono when you when you so just in case of that you need um a thick blanket as well that's that okay for baby and diapers the boy ali ne you need to carry diapers as well or if you do not like um if you do not want your baby to be in diapers from day one you can carry cotton napkins and all that stuff it's your wish it's your wish i made my daughter wear diaper from day one because like i did not want the hassle of having to wash the napkins and all those so yeah my daughter was in diapers from day one so and if you do not want your child to be in diapers if you want cotton um napkin it's all up to you it's your choice so yeah carry those um and then what else oh carry milk bottle and formula because i don't i don't know if people have been telling you this because no one told me like my mom kind of gave me a hint but then i was like uh i didn't know but not everyone gets their milk on like first day like it takes like mine i i took like 5 days it took 5 days for my body to produce milk for my child so yeah you have to be ready for that so take formula and then milk bottle as well milk bottles so they won't let you to use it because like they feed the baby from um spoon itself so tarapani like you can carry it for measurement you know like 30 ml go like one uh one spoon is this is one so you can get carry it for measurement and i uh, personally recommend dr brown go anti colic um milk bottle i'm sure you've not even like i'm sure kati jana na the colic pani go bani thane chana so please be <laughs> ready for that colic um breast engorgement all those thing that i didn't know of okay i think i need to make a separate video on that because that's like really 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 important to know so yeah that's that um फर्मुला पनि मेरो चाहिँ लाइक बच्चा स्ट्रेट एनआईसीयू मा लगेको भएर दे बट देयर ओन फर्मुला बट देन आई हैड कैरीड एसएमए फॉर माय सेल्फ फॉर माय बेबी बट देन दे बट लैक्टोजन एंड टेनि खुलाए फर्स्ट कति दिन गुलाए अनलेस द बोटल फिनिश्ड ओके सो इफ योर बेबी इज विथ यू एंड इफ ही इज नॉट लैचिंग प्रॉपर्ली और इफ योर मिल्क इज इफ यू आर नॉट प्रोड्यूसिंग इनफ मिल्क ऑफ यू नॉट प्रोड्यूसिंग एनी मिल्क एट ऑल यू नीड टू हैव फर्मुला बिसाइड ओके सो दैट्स दैट अम Or go. What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? I think that's that for the baby. I don't think you. I don't think you need more. Um. What else? So I guess that's that for the baby. If I remember anything in middle way, I'll let you know. Okay? Because, like, um, पहले गरे को बैठे I would have like you know you know shown it all like you carry carry you carry carry you carry carry but I think I forgot. It's already been three and a half months again. So that's that for the baby. But for you, on your different section, make make sure it's different so that you know. But like after giving birth, you need to take rest. You'll be you you won't like wake up and like keep taking out stuffs and all. So that if you keep it differently, the people helping you, your family members, your friends, they will know like you see, unia la sazi loans. Okay, so keep it different. I suggest you keep it different. Okay, so for the mom, what you have to carry is. maternity pad that's like really really important you need to carry a maternity pad because you're going to bleed after your delivery um hospitals they give malaysia hospital they gave me one pack of maternity pad that was like very thick like you know diaper it's not like diaper that you don't put it you don't put it up like that but then you can imagine the thickness uh, was like diapers you know it's a thick moto and so and then length when it comes from your front till back so I think that's very um easy to use like very comfortable for the first few days because you're not bleeding for 9 months and all of a sudden like you know you want to be comfortable and you want get used to it like it's like you almost forgot all about it okay so yeah um they give you hospital pads that can be used for like 2 3 days and after that you can use your own maternity pad the next thing is carry comfortable undergarments okay make sure it's cotton um big enough stretchable and very comfortable do not use lace thongs nothing keep that for some other days keep that for some other time okay 
this time is like you you're getting stitches down there okay so you need to be like very 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 um um careful about it so yeah maternity underwear is a rebound you can use that and make sure you carry maternity bra as well that that you can open it properly like you can open it like some will be from here some will be from here you can just open it and then feed your baby then carry amenities like small ones carry your toothpaste toothbrush um shampoo conditioner hospital school like bathrooms i must say it'll be there but then if you're like me who do not like using like um any uh you do not which you do not trust any kind of shampoo and body wash like it's like if you do not trust all those then if you like me you need to carry your own okay so i carry like small ones i carry like um these ones shower gel it'll be easy like it'll be you know so you yeah, carry these ones like shower gel shampoo um whatever you need cream body cream i carried like face masks i carried um oh so many things all those that i need you know um but then face um but then I just got to take bath and I just like wash my face the same night when I was not in pain. After that, after delivery, after the like, epidural mistake, walk about it. Like I couldn't sit straight because my head would like pound crazy and I had to always lie down. So because of that, two three days ago, like that, I couldn't even forget about bathing. I couldn't even go wash my face. It was like going to the toilet was so difficult for me because of that epidural bloody mistake. Forget about washing face and bathing. So. That was a problem so i didn't get to do it but then i'm sure you would want to carry those carry your maternity belt because if you had natural normal delivery you can like start using belt from the next day okay so and it's very important so use potty key or maternity belt and then take um nipple pads because if you're lucky enough and if you start producing milk the same day then it might be overflowing because uh, the kid i do not think they really know how to like um latch on it properly or not so carry the nipple pad not much because i don't think you'll be like producing that much for the first few days but then to be on the safe side carry that and then carry your homecoming outfit like god fucking what what you want to wear like if you're like me i was thinking like because obviously hospital you have to wear gowns and all that and then and for some reason, I carried extra gown with me because I was like thinking, kuni kuni like hospital or mounds, and like because like everyone wears that and they don't they do not wash it properly. It might be dirty or it might stink or something like that. So if in that case, I'll wear my own one. So my hospital, I gowns to with you. Thankfully, I I like carried that because mero logai ro goi like outfit say um amaru gaur for kine bela ma like they used to do turn by turn, you know. So when they came home, they brought it to wash. And then God forgive me, I'm like, look, that's high now, what to do? And then I wore like a gown and then came back home. I think I've covered like um, basic needs that you need to carry on a hospital bag. Or say, I don't think you need much. Um, I think that's the only things that I carried. That like, I, I, I think I carried more, but then I think that's the only necessary things that I needed while I was in the hospital. So yeah. So that's it for the video. I will be back soon. I, I am, if you're noticing it or not, but then, but then I'm posting it every Saturday. So every Saturday, look out for my new videos. I'll be back soon. And I'm doing like a, you know, I'm doing like a video request on Instagram. Like I'm sending kun video. What, what do you guys want me to do? I've got like a list of things. So I'll be doing that first before uploading other things. So yeah, I think the next video will be like um, my birth story, like more detail into it. You watch the video, but then you do not know what went behind the scene and all that. So that, those, that video is like only what, 20-25 minutes? But then I was there for like 36-48 hours. I want to tell it all in detail so that people like, you know, they know. Um, yeah, be on the lookout for the next video. I'll be back really, really soon. And yeah, please do not forget to subscribe, like this video, share if you like. That's it guys.